Hello friends, Sentinel H here, and welcome back to our Civilization 6 Let's Play as Robert Baratheon uh, in our A Civ of Ice and Fire uh, True Start Location um, Westeros map. That was a, that was a long-winded intro there. That was a lot to, to, to mention. But that's what we're doing. Uh, if you remember, we're fighting barbarians who have their camp over here, stupidly, because uh, a stupid scout found us. Um, we've got uh, Daenerys expanding over here. We don't want to make her upset, because if she gets mad, she will attack us with dragons, and we will die. Um, she just recently said to me, she's glad that I understand that the uh, city-states are hers. Um, yeah, so I gotta I gotta not be a suzerain of a city state until after I am in a position where I can def deal with uh, Daenerys. So right now I've put two into House Hor, or I'm sure that's not how you pronounce it, Hore, but I can't be a suzerain. So I gotta make sure I don't put in a third envoy until I know for sure that another Civ has more than me. That. See, if I put a third one in, I become the suzerain, and uh, Daenerys will kill me. So I have to wait a second. What? Anyway, I have to wait until someone else becomes suzerain. And then I can put my third in there, and then uh, hopefully Daenerys won't attack me because I'm not the suzerain. Now my scout ran into some water, unfortunately, so he can't go any further in that direction. So we are going to take him over this way, uh, go towards the Reach, and meet what's her face, um, Tyrell. House Tyrell. I'm gonna move this guy over here. What I do want to do is I do want to move my people up. I want to get to that barbarian encampment and I want to kill it. I can find a pantheon now, which is sweet. So we've got to figure out what we want to do now. Because I only get one city, I think what I would really like to do is is a, is a pick some uh, religions. Some some t my religious tenets that are going to benefit me based on spreading it. I'm gonna have to. Sp I want to want to spread my religion like wild. Let's see. Uh, River goddess, divine spark. Nothing that revolves around buildings because I'm only gonna get one holy site. Holy site districts get plus one faith from desert tiles. Not gonna help. Monument not gonna help. Not gonna help. Tundra not gonna help. Marsh is not going to help me. Pastures, food from camps, no. Religious idols, no. Stone circles, no. God of craftsmen, no. Goddess of festivals. One of these two would one of these two would actually be decent because uh, I can get these from my city states, so I can actually get these and gain the bonus. Uh, he increases healing by thirty in my holy site. 50 faith for each barbarian outpost cleared. If I get, if I bought this, I could um, get some a chunk of faith, but that's not important. 50% of the save of each enemy unit killed within eight tails of a holy site. Border expansion rate is 50% higher. City growth rate 10% high higher. City patron goddess production towards districts in cities without a specialty district. That only helped the first time. Fertility rights would actually be decent because uh, this city, this is my only city, and I really want it to grow. So, increasing the growth rate of my city would actually be quite nice. Um, but I really want something that actually provides faith. Otherwise, I'm never going to get a religion, unless I get lucky with some um, finding some goody huts, as people tend to call them. But desert tiles, tundra, and rainforest, I have none of. So neither of those, none of those are going to help me. Whatever. There's no quarries. There's no. I mean, there are luxuries, but there's not. They're not mines. So I can't benefit from. I can't benefit from religious idols. So, the only way. One of the only the only two things that is going to get me faith is initiation rites or God of War. But you have to kill him with the eight tiles of a holy site, and I don't even have a holy site. So initiation rites would give me faith for killing barbarian encampments. Nah, we're gonna go for fertility rites because I really want this city to grow. We need King's Landing. We need King's Landing to grow, grow, grow. Okay, so that one's boosted. That's helped me. Um, I need to earn a great profit. Now, who is? Oh, these look cool. Look at those icons. 
Okay, so House Aaron is gaining three great profit points per turn. We are never going to catch them because we can only ever gain one. Unless I use a policy for it. Which I don't have anyway. So we need to we're gonna we'll need to build a, an actual um holy site so that we can gain those points. I'm hoping to found a religion and then spread it like wildfire so that I can gain maybe one of those money ones. The one, if I could get it, the one that uh, gives you money for each um, each uh, person following your religion. Tithing, I think it's called. Would be perfect in a situation where I'm only going to have one city myself and then just... Um, would actually be quite excellent. We'll see what we end up doing. I do want to leave this guy here in the city. I'm going to leave someone there, right? Come over here. Go and find... What's her face? Tyrell. Let's grab another scout. Well, let's see here. Three turns for a granary, six for a campus. Mason will be done in four turns. If I get my scout in one turn, I'll have enough turns to get a granary before masonry is done. Is that how that's going to work? Because as soon as masonry done is done, I'm building a wall. Oh. Daenerys just got a religion. Divine spark. You horrible person. Oh, I come leave. on. Tell me that scout. That, oh, that barbarian scout's going to pillage my traitor. Dang it. I really hate barbarians. I mean, I expect them to do that. I'd be surprised if they did not. Move this guy up here. Move the slinger down and attack. And they're almost dead. Yeah, I do have that. Gypsum down there. I've earned an envoy, but we're not going to put it there. Well, I'm going to check it. Like I said, we got to make sure that somebody else... Nope. we got to find another city-state. I want to become suzerain of cities. Oh, man. It's up to four for the granary now. Three turns for masonry. Well... Let's see, what else can we make in three turns? We could make another scout. So two. Now let's build the granary. Oh, it's only takes three, three turns. It said it was going to take four. Yeah, I wasn't never going to be able to boost this. The heck? How's Tully is killing a barbarian scout? And now it's going to say that... Yep. My traitor got pillaged. Dang it! So annoying! Freaking barbarians. I needed that scout, that traitor. That traitor was going to make me some money. Ugh, I hate barbarians so much. Ugh. I can't attack this guy over the river and expect to win the fights. same time, my slinger can do it. Attacking over water is never a good idea. My slinger shouldn't die to the spearmen. Spearmen, I think, deal less damage than warriors, and attacking over the river is going to diminish his attack. If he even attacks the slinger, he might just attack the warrior. Nope, he attacked the slinger. I didn't think that they could one-shot them. He did take quite a lot of damage, though. Which I'm not going to risk the death of my slinger. I need to kill this scout. Oh, come on! I thought you could attack him! It's only a minor victory. Yeah, attacking over rivers is never a, the best idea. But he can be promoted next turn, so he's not going to die.
Ah, this is annoying as heck. All right, this scout is finally back up here. So we're gonna go around Gold Town and see what's up over here. I know there's another dude over here, and there's another city state over here called the Twins. There are players all around you, and you are in the way of some. You shouldn't ignore the game. What's he talking about? What, Daenerys? <laughs> Your Grace. Each of us is carving a stone. I need to try and make Daenerys friendly. Do you do you want anything? Hey, she received my delegation. Uh, do you want to trade anything? I don't have anything to trade. What I should do is trade with her. Actual trading. Ancient walls. Yeah, I could trade with Ostapor. Having a trading relationship will improve our relationship and make it less likely that Daenerys will uh, straight up murder me. Alright, let's go ahead and... Do we need that? We have horses, so yeah, we need animal husbandry. I had to rush masonry. Because I need walls. One of the main reasons I lost last time is because of a lack of walls. Where did that dang scout go? He's over there. Okay, Tully, kill him. <laughs> Promote combat strength versus melee units. Well, and ranged, but whatever. Scouts are on their way. There we go. We've officially met Tully. It's an honor to meet you. We'd love to sample your hospitality. There he is, Pink Maiden. Delegation. Nope, our delegation's not welcome here. Dang it. Deal. He's got diamonds and tea. Never mind. Edmure Tully. I don't need to deal with you. Certainly hope no one attacks me. <laughs> Well, he sent us a delegation, but I can't send him one. Come on, dude. Let's be reasonable here. I can't. I'm so upset that that barbarian pillaged my trade route. So upset. Looks like Harren Hall is fighting barbarians, but they got archers to do it, so it's no problem. <laughs> All right, we're heading this way. I want to meet what's his face. I don't want another barbarian encampment to start sending things at me. Yay. Enacting new policies in our government can be a great I don't Yay. underrate the value of military knowledge, but if men make war in slavish obedience to rules, they will fail. All right. So we've unlocked maneuver, production towards ancient and classical heavy and light cab units, which is not gonna be all that useful. I mean, here's the thing. This area around us is decently flat and open, but there's a lot of you know mountains and there's a lot of forests down here, so cavalry's not really gonna help me much. Anyway. <sighs> I'm enjoying God King, it's the only reason I'm generating faith. So we need to keep that going. Once I get some trade routes going, we'll swap it up to cans. We'll swap it with caravan series. But I need to get a couple of trade routes going for that to actually be uh, of any import. All right, we've got that military tradition civic flanking and support combat bonuses to our units that has been unlocked. We need open borders because. I want to get to... We could also get Mysticism now, since I've founded a Pantheon. It would help me to get my great profit points, but I have nowhere to put those. I need to unlock... Um, uh, wild cards. I don't have any wild card slots. So that's not actually going to help me. It gives me an envoy, but it's not going to help. I need to unlock Political Philosophy first, so I can actually get... Uh, a uh, 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 government that has a slot for that. Keep going this way. Let's 
Skip your turn. Harn Hall is producing the archers to fight these barbarians, man. You're doing a good job. If there are no dogs in heaven, then when I die, I want to go where they went. Alright, we have animal husbandry now. Okay. We could do sailing just so that we could build a fishing boat. Um, but what we really need to get is, well, I really want archery, <laughs> but we need to get astrology so we can build holy sites. Let's get the archery first, though. It's really quite important, I think, to get archers for defense. Hey, hey, you should not have moved there. Your dog cannot help you. You are dead. I'm very glad my warrior destroyed that scout. My units will now come home. There we go. We found the Dowager Lady of High Garden, Miss Elena Tyrell. So I found High Garden. Ah, more barbarian scouts. They're just everywhere. And I don't care. That's Targaryen is now an oligarchy. Uh, she's just ahead of me. Dang it, look at that. She found a Volantis right next to me. I mean, oh good, she likes me. Oh, maybe she won't attack me this game. But she's expanding quick. Yeah, she, she shouldn't have found that so close to me, but there's nothing I can do about it. I'm at her mercy until I gain a powerful enough military to where I can survive the freaking dragons. That also means I need to be careful and keep units away from her. I can't afford to upset Daenerys in any way. I need to be... I, need, I can't do anything that would upset her. I hope having a unit in my borders that just so happens to be close to her borders isn't going to upset her. But she's probably going to start. She probably, she probably covets territory that I own now that she's built a city right next to me. I, I mean, shot an arrow into the air. It fell to earth. I shot an arrow into the air. Come on. At least uh, it means that I'm going to be able. What's that to do? I have another wrong boy. At least it means that I'm going to be able to, um... What was I thinking? I didn't take action against anyone. What are you talking about? What, is she upset that I even have a single del uh, envoy? We're friendly. Different governments. Daenerys is angry that you've been controlling city states. I haven't been controlling city states. I haven't. I sent like one envoy. I'm not controlling a city state. Wait, what? No! Are you kidding? No! I completed a quest for them accidentally? Okay, this is just. Okay, that's upsetting. That is absolute. That is. Okay. I did not do that. What was the quest? It's so upsetting. These stupid quests that you can fulfill accidentally. See, I don't like that. I don't like that the quests can be fulfilled without attempting it. Because it sabotages the strategy of trying to avoid city-states suzerainship so that you don't piss off powerful enemies. But you can't do that. Because it automatically gives it to you. That is so annoying. I'm gonna if I lose this again because of that, I'm gonna be so upset. All right, let's go ahead and grab bronze working so we can reveal iron. It'll give us some free iron and build an encampment district because we need um, the ability to craft more units. 
It's going to take four turns. So what I could do ah, is go ahead and build a campus. It's going to take five turns. I have walls now. I have some archers. I probably need more archers. But actually, let's go ahead and get the trader because we need to start trading. If I start trading with Daenerys, it might help her to not um, kill me. I can't believe that. That's so annoying. Look, watch. This friendliness is going to drop off. It's going to go straight to unfriendly, isn't it? I really found High Heart. Tully has a lot of stuff. Is Tully at war with someone? No. Look at that. Tully is Tully is massing warriors against Harnhall. It is not looking good. I can't allow Tully to kill Harnhall. But how am I going to stop him? Your delegation is welcome. I mean, for all I know, my my being suzerain of Harnhall is the only thing stopping Tully from killing it. And he's probably not going to stop him anyway. He's at war with somebody. Otherwise, it wouldn't it wouldn't give me the option of a joint war. Anyway, hopefully Tully didn't royally screw me over, and uh, Daenerys isn't going to. Um, well, we'll leave him there. Straight up murder me now. I just want one turn to pass so I can see. I want a turn to pass so I can see how it will affect our relationship. Do I lose the friendly? Does it go to unfriendly? If it does, I'll have a real course of concern. Wait, what's going on here? What's what's happening? Oh, Tully is attacking Harnhall. Screw controlling city states, chick. I mean, I might have to defend it. Harnhall is under attack by Tully. Okay, so it's it's good that Daenerys is not unfriendly. So that's good. Anyway, because I need to I need to end this episode. But it looks like we're still friendly, at least for now. Establish a trade route with the House Targaryen. That's what I want to do. I could also just give her something. I could just, like, give her a gift of gold. I feel like I want to do that. Anything to make Daenerys happy. <laughs> plus 10. Okay, so I've got plus 10 on the books against the minus 5, so... Hopefully we can keep her at peace. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Like and comment the video if you did enjoy it. It's very important to my channel, especially for these series that don't get as many views. Um, yeah, thanks so much. I really do appreciate your viewership. So, uh, I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.